Milk cartons are recycled. Coke cans are also recycled. Not to mention, snack boxes are recycled too. And even ice cream spoons are recycled. We all know these. But what about leftover milk and snacks? These can also be recycled and recreated into much higher value. That is why we call it upcycling. Upcycling creates a totally different value and recreates totally new products, which goes beyond the traditional concept of recycling. What makes upcycling of food waste possible? BioCentro will explain. This is real. Chemically showing the food waste, hmm, it's too difficult. However, we do recognize that food waste is full of carbon and hydrogen compounds, sugar, salt, protein, fat, and other kinds of nutrients. How does this relate to creating energy? BioCentro owns the cross-feeding microbes such as syntrophic bacteria and acid fermentation fungi, which are used to produce biogas by recombining the nutrients within the food waste. To mass-produce high-quality biogas, BioCentro sends food waste to Distinctive Anaerobic Digester. This digester is like a cow's stomach. Cow's stomach? Yes, one quarter methane gases into the atmosphere are emitted by cows burp and fart. Like a cow's stomach, which has good digestive capabilities, the anaerobic digester is divided into several compartments and as many as 150 meters long. Within these compartments, the syntrophic bacteria play different roles in digesting food waste. Some bacteria break down lactic acid. Others assist in better fermentation. And still others increase the production of methanogen. When the food waste completes this 40-day biocentro journey, the level of carbon dioxide remarkably decreases and sulfur is completely removed. At the end, the food waste converts into a perfect biogas with 70% methane content. These technologies are byproducts of BioCentro's independent research. However, the quantity is also a key factor in determining the utility of the biogas. To meet this standard, BioCentro uses over 100 tons of food waste to create over 13,000 normal cubic meters of perfect biogas, currently generating 30 megawatt a day. This is enough electricity to power 3,000 households. Isn't this amazing? From an investing perspective, BioCentro Power Plant's sales efficiency is about 80%, which is significantly higher than that of the other plants and the 10-month construction duration is considerably shorter than that of the others. Additionally, other plants pay their expense for the inbound materials. However, even the inbound at the BioCentro eventually adds to its overall revenue. BioCentro's biogas can not only be used for electricity, but also for an automotive fuel. And the leftover heat can be consumed for home heating. How awesome! Finally, the food waste completely digested can be recycled as fertilizer products. The science of BioCentro takes an unwanted food waste and converts every last bit into a resource. With ocean disposal of wastewater being banned, 
we are already facing a waste crisis. The annual handling costs for food waste have currently exceeded $1.3 billion in Korea. However, the upcycling technology that converts the food waste into energy has become a reality by BioCentro. By creating revenue from the inbound of the food waste, converting it back into the nature, and as a result, putting the environment first, BioCentro pursues the most respectable kind of energy. Back to the nature. BioCentro.